manager Dan Jerez. The recent events in Charlottesville should give every American pause. White nationalists and supremacists spewing words of hate at people who they don't even know. These groups certainly have the right to share their beliefs, however vile they may be. James Madison saw to that when he drafted the Bill of Rights, but our freedom of speech does not and should not serve as protection for acts of hatred. Driving a car into a crowd of people is not freedom of speech. It is times like these when we must act as we strive to stand in solidarity with those who are subjected to bigotry. If there is any good to come of this, we hope it starts with a larger conversation about the state of our society as a whole. The disregard for human life these days is troubling. We look to our leaders for answers, but the truth is lawmakers can only do so much. The real work starts at home, around the dinner table. Are you teaching your children to love and not hate? This could be a turning point for our nation. As a united community, we can make a difference and treat each other with respect and dignity that we all deserve.